The waiting time for planned or elective surgeries at the Bustamante Hospital for Children has increased significantly. A medical doctor at the facility says due to COVID-19, the waiting time has been extended to well over a year, forcing some children to live with their medical conditions even longer. Shamela Pullen tells us more in the health report. Approximately 2,000 elective or planned surgeries are done at the Bustamante Hospital for Children each year. However, as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, some of these surgeries have to be pushed back for another year or so. So elective surgeries include hernias, circumcisions, um, removal of certain lumps and bumps, as well as planned bowel operation, more involved major operations, which are not themselves emergency, but they are are important, such as patients who have Hirschsprung's disease or patients who are born with abnormalities um, of, the, of the gastrointestinal tract. Consultant pediatric surgeon Dr. Noel McLennan says the aim is to get these children to do their operations in a timely manner, that is before they reach age two or three. But with the delay, it means they will have to live with their condition longer. Another major impact, of course, would be the, the amount of resources um, that is necessary to treat a condition non-surgically for a longer period of time. It, 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 for example, patients who may have colostomies, um, it, more colostomy bags will be required for a longer period of time. So in terms of the expenses, in terms of the, the, the human care, the human, the man hours, woman hours, uh, person hours, so to speak, um, that is involved in the care of these children, that is even more. Dr. McLennan says while the medical team tries to see how best they can get some of these surgeries done, he cautions parents and guardians to protect their child or children from getting viruses as this can further delay their surgery. It has been shown that patients who have had COVID-19, who have had elective surgery done, their recovery course is a lot more stormy when they are COVID positive than if they are COVID negative. So the first thing is to be safe, take all the precautions that are out there to be taken. And number two, be patient. We will get to do the operation. With your health report, I'm Shamela Pullen wishing you good health.